mate, look, I'm not getting married because I found someone who I'm gonna get um, get along with for the rest of my life. However, I'm getting married because I found someone who who is the only person that I see me arguing with and making up with for the rest of my entire life. There is life after your wedding day, and that's when rea reality hits. Exactly. Oh, okay, I'm with this person. Yeah. However, what she says to me matters to me the most. Even more, and like, it, do you know what I mean? Like, so I take it more personally. Um, so it did bring out a side of myself which. Um, Hello guys. Hi. What's going on people? So as you can see, we are here at the Shangri-La Hotel and um, probably from the previous vlog you would have seen the way it's all been and out, yeah. we've had some time to, um, what's it called? Reflect. Um, to reflect. <laughs> <laughs> and also we have some time as well to like pass on to you guys some, you know, knowledge. Some knowledge. Um, so the basis of this video, of course, is basically we're approaching a year, yeah. pretty much a year of marriage, like Sunday, yeah. tomorrow, we'll make it a year. So we just want to say like a roundup of what we've learnt Indeed. and you know what we've taken from this year because exactly. it has been a, a learning curve in a, in a sense. Indeed. Indeed. And we just want to put it out there to, to help anybody who's about to get married or yeah. is in their first year of marriage or whatever. So to break it down to you guys, um, I mean I'm sure quite a lot of you guys who follow us, you do see us online and um, we look very happy. We are indeed very happy together and um, however but what you do not see are the you know hurdles and um, also what we actually go through in our day-to-day -day lives um, you know one thing it is is one thing that a lot of celebrities or people out there or public figures out there um, actually do not do is tell the behind the scenes and you will clash heads um, things will happen and within this whole year there are so much things that I've learned about myself first of which is I am not and I wasn't as patient as I thought I was mm. and um, I also did lash out a lot quickly even though I, the, 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 the thing about it was I remember speaking to a good friend I said to him I'd never been in a position whereby I'd been so close to someone who could potentially get me to lash out the way I could or the way I do the way that you know at her because she's so you know she gets into she's into me like you know what I mean like I love her so much that whatever she says means and matters to me the most I don't care whatever anyone else says like my mom my mom says things to me my sister says things to me however what she says to me matters to me the most more, and right. it, do you know what I mean like, so I take it more personally um so it did bring out a side of myself which um you know throughout the year I have been working on I have worked on and um it's you know it's helping the relationship or the marriage and um if indeed I never saw that and I never took that part upon myself it could go a completely different way left. yeah it could go left and I feel like that's you know something that a lot of people out there should um to to, to, to should hold on and um to, to to realize that when you're getting married you need to work on yourself and realize the things about yourself that you so, probably think is not really there or is not indeed because really, so, for example some might think oh yeah i'm someone who's very giving or very loving and then you realize oh actually when it comes down to it you're not mm. as giving as you, as thought, you thought you were yeah um for me um being in this year of marriage it definitely has been a huge mountain to climb <laughs> in a way because of course, I knew marriage was going to be different. I knew it was going to be something. Everybody tells you, oh, marriage is really hard. It's mm. tough. You know, it's not easy. It's completely different to dating. And of course, I didn't know that. And I did expect it to be different. But I didn't expect it to be as different because it was a huge change in yeah. my lifestyle, in the way I am as a person. Um, being the youngest in the household, I didn't have it easy. That's not what I mean. But... Mm. I was sort of free to do what I want to do because I, I'm, I was always I was always responsible and sensible so I didn't really have too much you know you have to be doing this or you have to be doing that I was just doing it naturally so I through that I Quite gained independent. I gained a lot of into uh, into independent. I gained a lot of independent through that because my parents and my family members they just knew that I was always going to be okay mm. and I wouldn't get myself into silly silly problems yeah, yeah. so I was very independent and doing whatever I want to do yeah. and making my own decisions and just going about my life freely. Mm, yeah. So when I got married to you and there was somebody there that was, I had to not answer to, but 
I had to sort of like, I had, it, it was a discussion. I couldn't just go ahead and, you know, do whatever I want anymore. Yeah. I couldn't just go ahead and say, oh, you know what, I'm, Corey, I'm going out. No, Corey, I plan to be here at this time. Is that okay with you? Mm. Or I like this. Can I get it? Yeah. Or, you know, it was like things of, and I don't have a problem with that, but at the same time, it was different yeah. for me. It was yeah. really different. And I think one of the things, I'll say this out here, because one of the things that really, really got on under my skin was the fact that we moved away from our, from London, slightly from London. We have our own house. Yeah. And driving is a big deal where we live. Yeah. You sort of need to drive. You sort of need to know how to drive to get from A to B. It's, yeah. it's a bonus. You yeah. can get public transport, but that's just... No one wants to do that. <laughs> anyway, so driving's a big thing. And, of course, you guys saw that my driving wasn't really where it should be. Yeah. And I wasn't comfortable being on my own driving. Yeah. So I always had to rely on this one to take me places, to pick yeah. me back from work, to take me to work, to take me if I'm willing to go out. And, you know, as much as that's great, it, 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 it sort of made my independence sort of halved. Mm, it it mm, halved mm, my independence. Because in yeah. London, I'm like, okay, get the bus here, get the train here, walk over there. It's easy. Yeah. But when you need to be like, okay, if Corey can't drive me to this place at a certain time, then I can't go. Yeah, yeah. It was major. So for me, it was just trying to like still understand that I am independent, mm -hmm. but I'm not as independent as I was yeah. when I was dating you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, so I think, you know, what, what, where you're coming from is that was your own personal experience. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we did get go through it. And um, well, now you pretty much drive, like, yeah. whenever, whenever, whenever you, on wherever you need to go to, really. Right, cool. So now I'm going to tell you guys, all of what we just said, discard every single thing. Because we are a strong believer of our marriage is independent. Like sorry, it's in, sorry. A marriage is is individual to each, you know, individual, um, and it's based on your own experience and whatever you want your experience to be. So do not take our experience and think that this is what I should expect when I get married. Mm -hmm. I will be completely different from your partner. She will be completely different from your partner. Mm -hmm. We. Do you get where I'm coming yeah. from? So don't like, think, oh, Corey and Susan went through this, so therefore I need to prepare for this. Mm -hmm. No, create your own experience. Pay attention to your own self. Pay attention to your own character, to your person, um, your partner's character. And have and build your own experience with marriage. Because, sorry baby, for me, before I got married, someone gave me an advice. And really and truly, he was like, um, what was it he said? He was like, oh, you're going to get married. Why are you getting married for? Like, uh, like seriously, because he's divorced. And then I said to him, mate, look, I'm not getting married because I found someone who I'm going to get um, get along with for the rest of my life. However, I'm getting married because I found someone whom I would, you know, who is the only person that I see me arguing with and making up with for the rest of my entire life. And then he was like, hmm. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So it's how yeah. you see it. It's entirely different yeah. to, to each individual, take really. That's my advice. Um, I also want to say that with marriage as well, don't don't rush into it because exactly. I think in this day and age, you know, everybody has a bay. Everybody's on Instagram, you know, posting, getting engaged, getting married, throwing a beautiful wedding. And, you know, it's lovely. Your wedding day is meant to be amazing. However, Indeed. there is life after your wedding day. And that's when rea reality hits. Exactly. Of, okay, I'm with this person. Yeah. For life, it's meant to be for life, mm. and I feel like a lot of the times people are too focused on the actual wedding day or, yeah. the, or the lead up to the wedding day or yeah. of the engagement because all of these are highs. They're highs. They're mm. just like, you know, everybody's exactly. everybody's exactly. excited. Everybody's yeah. interested. Everyone's messaging you. You yeah. post online. Everyone likes it. Yeah, but when as soon as you, the wedding day is done and you're married, it's just you and that person. Exactly. You and your husband or you and your wife, and that's when you really get to know that person. That's when you really deal with your problems your situations your characteristics that you didn't notice when you were dating and mm. you're like whoa this person is absolutely messy <laughs> like they don't tidy up at all or they, or they don't help you at all like exactly. they'll see you there tied in and you know fold they'll just your chill arms. and be like mm, okay exactly yeah. or you probably end up with a partner who for instance if you have something in mind or when it's time for him to do something nice for you he does something completely different from what your interests are. Yeah. And clearly, you know, this person is, this person isn't paying attention to, exactly. to, to you per exactly. se. So it's, it's, as Susan said, you need to pay attention to, you know, yeah. whoever it is that but you are But I also with. want to say that, um, think about, if you're someone who's about to get married or you're thinking, oh, I'm anxious to be married, just slow down. Slow down because marriage is something that 
it doesn't need to be rushed. Exactly. It really, really doesn't. Take your yeah. time. Take your time. And when you are in your marriage, if you're a newly married person and you're mm. in it, like, don't feel like if you're having a bad moment or things are tough, don't think, oh my God, I made the worst decision of my life. Exactly. I should have married this person. Exactly. No, you need to work through your problems because yeah. we had a lot of clashes. Like, I mean, a lot. At the mm. beginning of the marriage, we were clashing like... Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we are both very strong-headed and stubborn. This one here. Oh You're God. stubborn, oh I'm Lord. stubborn. Oh, Lord, help He's me. He's strong-headed, I'm strong-headed. Yeah. So we butt heads a lot. Exactly. And it took us a while for us to realise, okay, we need to level it out mm. somewhere. Sometimes mm. I need to give in. Sometimes Corey needs to get it, give in. Before it was like, nope, 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 no one's giving in. We're just going to yeah. go at it. And it's, it's horrible. It's not nice when you're in a house or... You know, and you're not talking, or you're not exactly. You're not exactly. happy. It's horrible. It so, really is. Bottom line is, you know, get to know your partner, get to know yourself before you're going there to complete someone else. Take your time with your marriage. Yeah. Take your time inside of the marriage. Don't feel like it needs to be like this, like that. It's not going to mm. be like this. You're going to exactly. go through hurdles. Take your time overcoming those hurdles as well. One more thing: Do not go into marriage because you want to be happy. Yeah. Do not go into the marriage because <laughs> you found someone who will make you happy for the rest of your life. Go into the marriage thinking or willing to make someone else happy and vice versa yeah. if your focus as a man is to make your wife happy and her focus as a wife is to make you happy believe me you you both will be happy because when things go wrong and when things are rough and then you say to yourself and your pride kicks in and then you remember okay you know what i need to make her happy let me put this pride away to make sure she's happy now she will see that example from yourself and when it's her turn for her for her pride to take over she will then realize okay you know what now nah, corey did this corey squashed it the other time corey wasn't holding on to grudges the other time so therefore i cannot hold on to grudges this time so mm -hmm. i would take you know i would take his 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 example I'll lead um I, I would go by his example and actually squash what it is that i've yeah. got going on sort of thing so that would be my advice for you guys really yeah i think just to add on top of what you said yeah. i think with the marriage it's all about giving it really exactly. is people used to say this before i didn't really get it and i used to think to myself okay hold on a minute if i'm giving to someone constantly giving and they're not giving me anything back psh, yeah that's rubbish for me like why would i do that but what you have to realise, if you're really with that person and that person really loves you, mm. the moment they see you giving, exactly. they have, they to, have give to give back. back. It, it's impossible. And it makes it natural for them to actually exactly. want to give back It's impossible well. for them to see you giving and just not do anything. That's, that's not that's going to happen. So, they will give back to you. So long story short, yeah. what is a long story short? Long story short is off. take your time and... Um, just create your own experiences. Do you know what I mean? Don't look at other people and think, oh yeah, they're living so good, they're happy, yeah. they're this, they're that. No, I am very, very, very much happy with Susan. Very, I'm very, very well. much. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys know this already. Um, but at the end of the day, don't just take every single thing that you see out there. And like, I'm so, like, to be frank, don't go by our examples because we also make mistakes as well. I also make mistakes as well. Yeah. And um, at the end of the day, that's the message we want to put across to you guys. So thank you guys for watching. And we shall, we need to go Let's to see. enjoy the rest of our anniversary. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> so, so much for watching. And make you sure you like and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. subscribe. Right. Peace. And Bye. share this message as well. Share the message. Okay. Peace. <laughs>